Hello guys and welcome back to this channel where we talk about electronics, technology and 3D printing. In this video I try to propose you a simple project that everyone can make. Very beautiful and useful in everyday life. I made all the steps simple, explain each operation in detail to help you to make this hay-catching information screen by yourself. And you know what's the best part? I will try to use AI DeepSeek to generate the source code for ESP8266 in Arduino IDE. Will be a success? Or a failure let's start and see together but before starting i invite you to support the channel by subscribing and leaving a comment it's free for this project i will use a ili 9341 tft 2.8 inch spi display this display also has a touch screen functionality and a memory card slot i tried to design a sinuous and elegant line using Fusion 360 as usual. The microcontroller is an ESP8266 that will connect to Wi-Fi to get info about time, Bitcoin value, weather forecast. If you need more information about this display, you can visit the website in the description. You can also use the touch screen and the memory card. I use this microcontroller in many of my videos because it's very small. In this case I use a very dense pitch LED strip, but a standard pitch one can also be used. This is the connection diagram between the ESP8266 and the display. I suggest you to place the pieces on the printer like this using the support for watch STL and back STL. They are not necessary for bottom STL. Here in detail I show you how I position the pieces on the printer bed. This is the piece with which I had the most difficulty printing. I tried horizontally, but I had a decent problem. At the end I chose vertically and I managed to print it. Have you found a better way? PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant code feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. And here we are with the 3D printing. I used PLA creating two pieces with two different colors. If you enjoy the project you find in my playlist, I invite you to consider joining the community of channel supporters. This way you will be able to see the new content in advance and browse the backstage and preparatory phases of each video like the one you will see today. Building a video is an incredible adventure. And this is the final result of the print using a 0.4 nozzle and a layer height of 0.3. The filament is the matte black by Overture, very nice and very easy to print. And as you can see the supports are removed without any problem. I also wanted to print a red version 
and here I had some problems with this filament from Kexilid. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. As you can see, the filament breaks as soon as you touch it. And so the result of the print by raising the temperature of 210 degrees is not bad, but the supports were a nightmare to remove. I cut the strip to have 29 leads. Pay attention to the correct direction of the arrow indicated on the printed circuit board of the strip. Then start to insert the strip gently inside the white container and then press gently against the edge to make the adhesive adhere to the wall. And finally insert the white container on the base and fix it with the glue. I used a strip of colored wires to clearly identify the connection between the display and the microcontroller. Then I started soldering all the wires, keeping the strip on the opposite side of the display. And this is the slot where we have to pass the wires connecting to display. Now we need to fix the ESP8266 to the base more or less in this position. Using hot glue we fix it to the base. We proceed to solder all the wires of the display and then those of the LED bar. At the end, these are all connections to be made. Simple, right? Now we use the cover to close and protect the connection. All wiring and assembly steps are done. What do you think? I try to get DeepSeek to generate the source code by creating a query that was clear and easy to understand.
in a few seconds, Deep6 started providing detail on the connection to be made between the display and the ESP8266 and also started generating code for the Arduino IDE. DeepSip has described in great detail all the steps to be performed and the code seems really well built. So let's try to create an Arduino sketch and copy the source code inside it and see if it works. The weather code is zero and it's correct because today is a sunny day. But humidity is wrong, so let's tell to DeepSeek that this is a problem. And so DeepSeek tried to fix the problem, changing the API query to Open Meteor Server. So, copy the source code again and let's try. Nope, it's still wrong. So, at this point, I started to create the source code by myself, correcting the query to retrieve the correct humidity value and adding some graphic embellishment and displaying the Bitcoin value. I commented the code and you will see that it will be easy for everyone to customize the display on the screen by adding other interesting information.